Hey guys, this is Farmer Bill, and today we are going to be harvesting <clears throat> some poppy on field 11 for Farmer Todd. Uh, Farmer Todd is in chat with me, so if, Farmer Todd, if you'd like to say hi, please do. Hi guys. And here we go, we're going to start getting some work done. Try to help Todd get all these uh, poppies off before the rain comes in today. <clears throat> so is there any uh, plans for what we're doing for so far today, Todd? Just getting our harvesting done or? Just trying to get the harvesting done before it starts raining. Okay. And then I take it after that. We'll try to jump on, do a little bit on uh, my fields afterwards. And yes, I think uh, I do believe 18 wheel farmers on the server as well so you guys will probably hear him pop in you'll end up saying hi as well so we're just gonna have some fun and help todd get some of his stuff done today so i uh, hoping we make a lot yeah a lot of money poppy's going pretty good pricing right now is what i was told And, uh, Todd, you're using... I get, a full load. I get a full load, and I'll jump out and see what the field is saying our estimated percentage is. Oh, okay. Uh, what are you using, a John Deere uh, S790? Yes, I am. Okay, and I got the claws over here. With, uh, I think this is, uh... 45-foot header. Oh, you got the 45-foot head draper, too? Yeah. Same thing I got with the uh, 22 uh, hunter capacity tank on top. Then we got three semi-trucks over here waiting and a uh, auger wagon, the Hallmaster. So we'll be filling that up, making some trips to the silos. And you'll get to see my farm. Oh, yeah, yeah. Todd's got a pretty neat, neat little farm. He likes pigs, too. So, <clears throat> we'll check out his little animals. And so far, I got sheep over on field nine, which you guys will see here probably on the next episode. But we are on Medicine Creek. So, time to have some fun and be able to talk to the guys and do what we normally do. Have a good time. <clears throat> so, are you working on uh, headlands right now, Todd? Yeah, I'm trying to get this edge on this side done. Okay. Out perfectly straight. So, I have to go back and do a little strip. Gotcha. Estimated potential for this field is 326,125 liters. We'll probably make a little more than that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You should make a, I think, quite a bit more than that. Uh, I'm thinking for all your fields, you'll be over maybe 1.5. I think in uh, Poppy. I hope. So that'll give you a nice uh, payday, at least. You know what I would like to see? Uh, Giants and FSN and all them bring in. Bring back the actual factories that you can actually do in-game. So you can, you know, build, like make flour and Coca-Cola and... Uh, the Jack Daniels Distillery again, and you know the the bread factories and all that. I think that'd be a pretty cool uh, thing to bring back into the game. Which I know I I heard somebody saying something about it, but I don't know if it's going to be bringing it back in here or not. I hadn't heard. Yeah, but now you know with. 
you know, them all teaming up with FSNs, teaming up with Giants and all that. I think that would be a pretty cool thing for them to actually maybe bring in and talk about. I, I mean, I'd, I'd be interested in doing that. It'd give us more places to sell our crop. Well, give us more places to sell our crop and make a little bit more money as owning one of the factories. You know, so if we have to, you know, do all that, I mean, that would be pretty cool. Alright, got an auto with this thing. Hey, so you were wondering, guys, what the uh, yellow and white marks are. They are the GPS. Oh, yeah, yeah, all the GPS stuff. Yeah, yeah. That's that's one of the cool things about this game. Oh, you yeah, know, the GPS. Put one in, set the GPS, <clears throat> and you're good to go. Yeah, you can Get even... You, in, you turn around, go again. Right, and you can even use the GPS on a single player, which I didn't know anything about using the GPS until actually I met Farmer Todd and a couple other guys who actually uh, helped me out figure out how to actually use it, which was... Uh, how we all became uh, friends on the game. So yeah, it's <laughs> it, isn't it, that's just kind of crazy, isn't it? On how long that's been. Mm-hmm. Been uh quite a while. Yes, it has been. That it has. It's been I don't know what uh, almost a year. That we've been playing together on FSN. Close to it. Yeah, I think what April I think will uh, is when me and you both got on to uh, Southeast Alberta when we first got off a of whitelisting. Yeah, think about it. You're right. It's been almost a year. And then we met the other guys that play on this map with us. And... Oh yeah, eighteen wheel farmer, uh, JG Racing. Uh, Zombie, Dark Zombie. Uh, my brother, uh, Giddy Up, he's also on here as well. So yeah, uh, we met a lot of a lot of guys on here. And then is, we have people that come on and do work for us, and, and we end up yeah. We have to on for doing it. Of course, we do have seasons. Certain times work in the year, and certain times you can't. We have snow, rain. Oh yeah, it's it's all like real life. You have to buy your equipment. Yeah, which I just bought a stids gear to help clean out my uh, cages, my sheep pens. Yeah, I was over there on uh, sixty nine, on uh, Dark Alberta, helping out uh, our good friend Zombie yesterday. We got all his harvesting done. We were rained out over here, so now we're back on and getting our stuff done. Oh, you got some uh, hopsills left over here, huh? <laughs> Is there? Yeah. Oh, where I went past the field a little bit. Yeah, yeah you can run over them and. I'll come down if you want. Yeah, yeah, we'll get we'll take care of that. Sometimes you don't turn. Oh yeah, especially with the new uh, John Deere Cedar. I mean, that thing is that's a workhorse. I I like it. It's I mean, not as wide as the Seed Hawk. No, it's not. I like it a lot better. It holds a lot more seed. Yeah, because what a lot of people do, they'll, they'll end up doing fertilizing and seeding together, which we do just to seed, and then we'll go back over and we'll do our fertilizing. So we'll do fertilizing, planting, fertilizing, and then after our pops, after tick, we will go back over and re 
spray fertilizer to get all three stages of fertilizer down so you get a better quality of uh, product. Uh, I just didn't know if anybody knew that little trick on how to do that or a better way of doing it. So that's how we do it. Which is a, you know, it's, it's pretty fun. It's time consuming. <clears throat> fun to make the money. Fun to build your farms. Fun to grab it, get some animals and learning to take care of them and all your finances. And now we got brokers and stuff coming into the game and they could buy we land. We should have really done, we should have really been harvesting already, but it's been raining and Oh, You're yeah. not able to harvest when the crops are wet. Nope. Oh, yeah. We got slammed with rain. I think it <clears> rained, <throat> what, days? Oh, I don't know. Uh, what? It was supposed to... Uh, it rained all day yesterday, which is said it was going to rain. It was actually supposed to be raining all day today, tomorrow, and the next day. But we kind of got a break here. So, hopefully we can... uh get all this uh all of our fields harvested because we got a lot of harvesting to do not just between me todd but we got 18's fields we, we gotta hopefully help him get all his stuff off as well before the rain uh jg uh, racing as well try to get all his stuff done uh not just exactly sure what he's got going on over there So, yeah, it's just harvesting, harvesting, harvesting today. That's all we're doing. So, yeah, that's that's the John Deere S790 right there. That's a nice uh, machine. I had two of them, but sold them and went and got some clauses. <clears throat> Wanted to check them out, see how they work and... I've always liked them in single player, so. Well, they're pretty <clears throat> nice now that they've got the same. They'll hold the same amount as the John Deere will. Oh, yeah, the same capacity. Yeah. Well, see, I used to play. Uh, I I mean, I love playing on Lone Oak. That's a, that's a fun map. I've always liked that map. That's uh, the map I used to play on a lot when I was playing. Like, yeah. Yeah, ever since uh, I think 2015 uh, is when I started playing, and I think that's the main map that I've always made sure it was downloaded so I can play it. With. And then the graphics over over the past years of this game coming out, the and graphics has got really good, really nice graphics on these on this game. So very happy with that. <clears throat> you know, Giants is doing a great job with what they've been doing. <clears throat> you won't, Bill, when you get to the end up there. Yeah. About two passes across that end. That gives us plenty of room to turn around without the trucks being in the way. Oh, yeah, up uh, down the other side over here? Yeah. Okay, you need me to I'll run down that then? Just whenever you get to the yeah, I'm almost to the end over here on this part, so I'll turn and go down that way. But yeah, hopefully uh, 18 Will Farmer, he'll uh, be coming in the chat and saying hi and... <clears throat> You guys got to forgive him. His uh, sometimes his, I guess you would say, internet and stuff isn't the greatest because he is a actual truck driver. You know, he and I've met him in person, which he's a great guy in person. Uh, but yeah, so sometimes his thing will cut in and out here and there. So sometimes he's quiet, sometimes he's not. 
I'll be back, Bill. Okay. So, yeah. So finish up the headland down this way. <clears throat> And then over there in the distance, you can see the silos and all that. That is Farmer Todd's uh, farm right there. So yeah, so I've been doing a little bit of car mechanic simulator as well, which is a pretty uh, pretty cool game, very time consuming game. Uh, especially trying to go up in levels and <clears throat> getting different things done. Been doing some gold rush as well. And also uh, some American Truck Simulator. Which if you guys would like to see any of them, you know, please uh, put a comment in and let me know what game you like to see out of those. And <clears throat> I will do the best I can on doing a stream of it and you know just have fun with it that's all I'm that's all we're about is just having a good time you guys will see us when we uh, harvest uh, cotton over there on 27 we get pretty loopy <clears throat> but we have a good time doing it. So now this will give us plenty of area to turn around. Normally we do two headlands all the way around the uh, whole uh, plot of land. So it just makes it easier to do harvesting. Uh, makes it a lot easier when you're doing your planting or seeding. And even uh, fertilizing and doing some lime as well. It all helps out. I don't, they don't really show you or that type of stuff in the training servers. <clears throat> But yeah, I mean, if you guys are interested in playing this game and coming and hanging out with us and playing, you know, please join FSN. It's it's not a bad community. It's a really good community of uh, guys and girls that we all play with. So it's very fun. And there are some pretty odd individuals that you'll end up meeting and having a good time with. Especially if you come and hang out with us. <laughs> But yeah, we, we all have fun in life, fun playing the game. And we just enjoy it. When I get a little bit of time, I come on and you know, I, I do my playing, my game playing. I got three amazing girls. You know, it take up a lot of my time as well. But uh, I do what I can to try to put out some videos for everybody and just to have a good time with that and spend time with my kids and my family. And then I got my FSN family on here. So, like right now, my youngest daughter just came down and said hi. Now she's running back upstairs. Uh, 
All right, get that all emptied in. We'll almost have a full truck here. One more, uh, one more hopper will do. And then this truck is full. Noah gave me a little bit of the courage to try to do some streaming. Not only my my daughters have asked me to try to do some streaming, gaming, streaming, stuff like that. But I've always, you know, was watching Clutch and, you know, uh, JD Goham and all of them. Sorry, DJ Goham. My bad. <clears throat> all those guys, you know, been watching them, seeing how much fun they have and And, you know, that just gave me a little bit of courage to try to do my own YouTube channel because I don't really talk a lot. Very shy. Which I think, you know, watching all of them and doing that kind of gave me a little bit of courage to do it. So yeah, so we are moving along on this uh, poppy. I really don't know how long videos are supposed to be for YouTube. Or things like that, so anybody have any comments that can help me out, you know. Please uh, let me know with what you guys think. I mean, it would help me out. I'd appreciate it. If you guys like the videos? I mean, you know, give it a like if you want to. If you want to like to subscribe to the channel, I mean, it's up to you guys. I'm not poor, having people do it just because. So. But this is all what we do. I mean, we just play some games together and we just have a good time. When we get more people on chat, you know, it makes it uh, a little bit more fun. Especially when you got three or four guys working on one field. Oh, yeah, it goes by okay. pretty quick. Sorry about that noise. I believe Farmer Todd is coming back in. Yeah, I'm back in the channel. I'll be back in the game part in a minute. Everything going okay, Todd? Yep. How, how is your lovely family doing today? Good? Good. Awesome. Wanting the snow to disappear. Oh, yeah, we got a lot of snow. I mean, you guys got some quite a bit of snow, didn't you? Between ice and snow, all we probably got four to six inches. Okay, yeah, yeah, we got out here in Illinois, we got about, oh, I think all together with snow drifts and all that stuff. I think we got about six seven inches of snow so I'd say I mean say snow is fun especially when you can go get out there and go playing and sledding in which we went to try to find some if, sleds the other day we if couldn't find you it. say so if you say so <laughs> oh yeah we you know me I don't I don't like winter oh yeah no we went to try to find some sleds the other day and we couldn't even find a single sled. I don't know about sleds around here. We're having trouble getting milk and bread and stuff like that. Oh, wow. <clears throat> yeah, we uh, 
Uh, I think what when I was growing up, heck, what, 20 years ago, sometimes we would use a garbage can lid to slide down a hill because that's basically the same thing as a sled, one of the round sleds. I we remember. used to use car hoods. Used to use what? Car hoods. Okay. It could hold a hold a, it, a whole bunch of us would get on a car hood at once. Oh wow! Yeah, one of the bill car hoods. Oh yeah. Yeah. But if you fell off that thing, ooh, that would hurt. Because those things were metal back back way when. Now they're some kind of like a. What a, like a aluminum, aluminum base, very strong aluminum type material now that they use to, uh, to make car hoods nowadays. But yeah, back way when using a car hood, whew, man, that sucker hits you after falling off. Well, going to the ER for that. <laughs> Yeah, I'm very surprised that uh haven't seen uh JG or anybody else come on today. Normally he's Yeah, I figured JG on. would be on a little later. Yeah, he's probably uh doing a little bit of work. I know he made uh some pretty good money uh being a what is that, a Uber Eats driver? I think so. Yeah. He uh I know he was out quite a bit yesterday. And he said he he made some fairly decent money by doing that type of stuff. I don't think you can do that. Make good enough money off of that Uber Eats thing. Yep. I, I mean, I know, like, my brother, his uh, his brother-in-law, uh, you know, on his wife's side of the family, he's one of them Uber drivers. And apparently he makes some pretty good money doing being an Uber driver. Heck, I'm just... Never tried it. Yeah, no, nah, me neither. I've been looking for work, but haven't really been able to find something that's going to be able to, you know, have me home with my kids during the day and, you know, when they get out of school and stuff like that. It's Work is so hard to find right now out here. Especially when all the uh, car uh, car companies are not really building a lot of cars right now, because uh, car manufacturing companies out here, you know, with uh, this NAS code and uh, Antolin, <clears throat> I mean, I know they're always you know fairly busy, but they can't even get the full staff right now. And that's like, you know, I put my application in there on um, both of those places, and I haven't heard anything back from either one of them. Oh. And I know they're hurting for work because, you know, my brother Adam said that they're looking for people to work in. But they don't want to, you know, hire people to do work. Well, that's their own loss. <clears throat> Especially if you're sitting there willing to do some work. All right, Todd, this truck is going to be filled up, so I'm going to take it to your silos and drop it off. All right, I'll start back to harvesting. Or do you know how much is uh, how much Poppy's going for? Do we just want to take it directly uh, to custom? Just take it. For right now, just take it right to... Uh, here, let me check real quick, and I'll let you know. Okay. What's the high end game? Uh, end game? Yep. Uh, the high for Poppy end game right now. Well, right now it's uh, 334. Uh, let's see what it states over here. Uh, as soon as we can find it, Poppy. They're saying, uh, High is five twenty six, and that's winter one. Let's 
Let me see. <clears throat> so anything over five twenty would be, I would say, a decent price. Five ninety seven right now. Take it to customs. It's what is it? Five ninety seven. Yep. All right. Well, we'll take, we'll take it. it to customs, and then I'll make a contract out. Somebody to come get it. Yeah. Well, we'll wait until we. Get, I would say two hundred thousand liters in there. Oh crap! What? I hope I didn't just finalize that. <laughs> How much was it for? Twenty-five thousand liters. Uh, you might have. It didn't change. It didn't change the screen, so. Oh, did you just hit back? Did you just back out? Oh, when I hit finalize and sell. Yeah. It didn't change the screen, so I take it didn't do it. Right. Where do I go to find? Uh, uh, I'll, uh, I just you... added a crop sale. So uh, yep. take that load to customs real quick. Okay. And then somebody can come in and do it. That way it'll be there. Yeah. Morning, Bill. Morning, Ty. Hey, 18. How you doing, buddy? Hey, 18. How you guys going? We're doing good. Uh, everybody, this is uh, 18 Wolf Farmer. Watch out, man. <laughs> you sound like you're just waking up. Same old, same old. Oh yeah, I understand that. Only been here. Well, it's uh, it's good we get to do a little bit of harvesting the day before this uh rain comes back, huh? Last I checked, we have all day today. Yeah, well, that's a good thing. Hopefully we'll be able to get everything done. Okay, I got a little story for you about Todd. Now, oh, no 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 no, 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 no. Not you, the other Todd. Oh. The, my little four-legged Todd up here on the Oh, okay. Okay, so the other day when this, when everything popped, right? Okay. Good to harvest. Got a little bit of harvest. Well, I went up, and I remember saying that Todd was missing. <laughs> Louis told me that he tried to feed him. He didn't come, nor to be found. Oh, boy. Well, I went up there, and Todd was there. I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> so, I fed Todd. All right? And it rained. I get off. I got on later on to do some work with the cows and everything up there. And Tom was gone. What the hell? Yeah, really, what? Even his, even his ball was gone. Todd <laughs> decided to pick up his ball and leave. He's like, that's it. The hell with it. I'm leaving. I'm taking my ball with me. <laughs> he didn't like you anymore, huh? No, no Todd, no nothing. <laughs> didn't feed him any okay. beer. <laughs> uh, he, 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 I fed him. He didn't. Didn't come. Got back on later. Again, like now for this harvest, for this time now when it dried out, and guess what? He's back. I was back. <laughs> now hold on, hold on, hold on. I haven't been up there yet. Ain't the bud is up here. Yep, there he is. So. I think Todd was like, you know what, hell, I'm taking my ball. I'm, I'm packing up and leaving, huh? <laughs> <laughs> uh, now I know why I can't feel up JG's bow. What's that? It's frozen. Todd keeps coming down. <laughs> oh. oh, Todd keeps, keeps coming down, down and eating the food. <laughs> oh, jeez. He was up in Chicago. The damn bull frozen. Yeah. Right. Here too. All right, Todd, your uh, first load of poppies over here at Customs. Okay. Oh, geez, I got to run all the way down here and get the tractor. All 
That uh, looks like somebody was uh, hauling some milk, huh? Was it? <laughs> they got the milk truck parked on the side of the road over here at Customs. <clears throat> FSN? Yeah. Hey, uh, when uh, Louie gets on, can you have him uh, check Adam's animals since he's not going to be around this week? So at least his goats and horses get fed. He's up in, uh, I think, Springfield, I think either Illinois or Missouri. I don't know which one he's at. Are you, are you talking to me? Or? Yeah, talking to you. When who gets on? When Louie gets on? When Louie, yeah. Oh, Louie. Yeah, when Louie gets on. Okay. Yeah, see, I'll see if he see if he can at least feed his uh, animals for him. <clears throat> you know, later on when he gets on. Yeah. I'm well, he, he's probably on the road right now, right? Yeah, he'll probably he might be on around two o'clock. Yeah. <clears throat> So, uh, 18, uh, so what is your game plan for today to get stuff done on 27, or are you working on 21, or is it 20? Oh, I got, I got 39 done already. I got parts 27 done. Okay. 27 finished, 20 finished. Yeah, re refurted, replanted, and go again. I don't. Yeah. What are you uh what are my you growing? Four, my four hundred acres get get double crept all the time. I don't I don't know, I haven't figured out what I want to do yet. Yeah. What are you uh what are you harvesting right now? Oats? Right now or... I'm doing canola. Canola? Okay. Yeah. Four hundred acres. Four hundred acres of canola. Wow. <clears throat> I take you got a couple contracts out to try to get some people to come and do some work. Actually so far I got nothing. Yeah. Busting away at it. Yeah, right now I'm trying to give Todd a hand to get his poppies off, and then I'll go back and start doing a little bit of work on a maybe seven and not uh, seven and six first. At least I can get. I know I can get those off. I should be able to get the stuff off of nine as well today. And then later when I get this harvested, I'm got a planned cow barn. Looking at four more barns. Four more barns? Oh boy. Yeah. Ooh. That'll bring me right up, right up to a thousand head of cattle. If wow. we need beef, just go to eighteen. <laughs> right? Yeah. Man, eighteen, that's gonna be a lot of head of cow. Thousand head. Are you stopping at a thousand head, or are you gonna try to keep try, try to keep growing more? No, I think I might stay at a thousand. See how I can just. Yeah. Now I'm walking over here to my heart. Thousand. <laughs> thousand head will be. Oh yeah, a thousand head should be plenty. Uh, I want to see uh, how my uh, sheep do with the wool cell as soon as I can get uh, everything all uh, fully filled up. And then I'll see if it's going to be, see if it's worth keeping the sheep or not. If it isn't, then I'll probably end up going and doing some cows as well. Because at least I can sell the manure and the slurry and stuff like that and make a little bit extra money that way. You know. Or, you use fertilizer. or yeah, he even uses fertilizer. <clears throat> I mean, there's always a bunch of good purposes for for it either way. Yeah. Like, I, mean, I was thinking about doing some chickens too, but then I'm like, yeah, I just don't know if it's if the chickens or the eggs if it's gonna pan out enough to 
you know, keep it things going. Because, I mean, look at what all zombies had to do with his chickens. Yep, yep. Over, over there on 69. Said your brother, did Adam get rid of uh, did he get rid of those uh, ducks, or is he still doing ducks? No, he got rid of the ducks. He got, in place of the ducks, he got those horses. Oh, that's right. The horses that you can't sell. Yeah, it's that's kind of weird. It's like, they don't cost anything to buy, and they don't cost anything, to, and you don't make anything when you sell them. I didn't know you could actually get the horses in-game. I didn't think you could yet either, but I guess it's just a pet that you have to pay to have. Yeah. Yeah. You gotta feed well, you can't, you can't go horseback riding every now and then. Yeah. But I don't ever have time for horseback riding. I've got too much work. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, uh, <laughs> I got 400 acres of crop. I don't got time to play around with dang horse. Yeah, I, I went and uh, took one of his horses out for a ride and took it all the way over from his sh his barn all the way down through 27, down by yours, up over to Zombies. The Todd's and I put him in uh, Todd's pig pen. <laughs> I was gonna see if he can uh, <laughs> see if he can find him over there, but apparently he was saying that after like five ten minutes of them just being out, they automatically go back to his pen. Which I want to test that. I want to test that theory because that's what he says that they do. But I don't know. I haven't heard of them doing that. It could. It could be. You know, I mean, but there's nothing that states uh, with the animals about if they go back or not. I know you got to feed them oats and hay and water and stuff like that. Yeah, but here's the thing. You're spending money to raise all this crop for them to eat, but they're not making you no money. Yeah, yep. that that's the that's the problem is right there. I mean, at least in real life, you can sell horses if you want to sell them. Right. Financially, at this point, it doesn't really make a lot. Yeah. No. Well, that and you, I mean, you have to buy the other, uh, the training arena as well. You, you know what I mean? Yeah, right. just like on single player. Yeah. So you got to, you know, you got to train them and you got to build their all their muscles and their stamina up and just, I mean, you got to do so much for them to get them, I guess. And they have to be rowed so much each day, I mean. Right. And, well, that's the thing, too, though. Now, with doing all that riding and the feeding and the caring of them and everything else, now, does that where they it adds the, the price of them to when you sell them? Yeah, I like, don't know. Well, they got to get up to. I think there's a. I didn't do a lot of work. If I remember right, the way. Yeah. To their. To their hundred percent. That's right. where they get their. Their best price. Right. So now I don't know if he wants you know since he's not going to be on today, or the next couple of days, does he want someone to ride them and feed them if that's the case I think he should put in a contract for some horse riding and all that but I thought you had to have a special permit for that you do you do have to have a permit I don't know if it's something Hans has done away with or if it's still up there yeah I you know that'd be an actually good question to ask them in uh, questions with the F on FSN Oh, well, easy way to do it is go back up to the, just go to the website and see if the permit, if it's still in the permits. Yeah, we could do that too. But it, I know in single player, it takes a long time to get that horse up to a hundred percent. Oh yeah, it took like I think I did. I bought one horse on single player uh, before I joined FSN. Uh and I think it took like four to five in-game years just to get them to almost a hundred percent. So I I really don't know. And I mean they don't have they don't breed. Right. I mean you're stuck with the same horse all the time, you know. Right. You sell it, sell it, then you have to go buy another horse. 
Yeah. <clears throat> or if you don't, I just feed don't them see that it making a uh, big enough profit to make it worth it. Yeah, I, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. We'll see how he does with it. I, I mean, I agree with that because, like, I don't see any profit in the horses right now. I mean, at least with the hogs, pigs. There isn't any right now. You know. Right. You you can sell them and make money off of them. Exactly. Same thing with the cows, the sheeps, uh, pretty much every every other animal in the game. You can sell them when they're ready to be sold and make money off of them. As long as you sell them for more than with what you paid for them. Exactly. So, but yeah, when it comes to the horse, I haven't seen anything really good about the horses right now. Hey, 18. Yes, sir. I told Bill I could sing for him this morning. <laughs> yeah, I, I uh, told him that he was going to sing for the audience, the ABCs. You know, he's starting to come into the new millennia, millennium. Do you, do you want some <clears throat> jokes from a truck driver? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> as, as long as they're not dirty, I don't care. It depends. How do you got this? How do you got this rated right now? <laughs> oh, it, it's it's rated for everybody, not for kids. <laughs> well, no, not everybody because hell, I got some that probably aren't appropriate. Yeah, let's. Uh, oh. I, I would say let's <laughs> not do that one. Now, if you have a funny joke, you think people will get a kick out of? Go for it, but. <clears throat> I mean, I'm all ears. Let's just kind of keep it uh, PG for the time being. Uh, <laughs> and I know that's very yeah. hard to do with our group. <laughs> we'll talk about the new silver alert. Over <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh. <clears throat> so, uh, no better. <laughs> yeah. We don't want yeah. <clears throat> well, guys, uh, I guess what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop the recording. So, everybody, thank you for coming in and talking with us today. Uh, 18, thank you. Uh, Farmer hey, Todd, no uh, thank you as <laughs> well. And uh, everybody, I hope you guys like this uh, little video that we did and like to see some more uh please put a comment in the comments hit the like button if you guys would like to or subscribe it's all up to you guys thank you again for uh watching my channel this is gamer bill thank thank you and have a great day <laughs>